Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Suppose Math. My name is Yasir Mahmood and I warmly welcome all of you in this course on logic. You might have heard a lot of times someone saying as you do not sound rational to me or your argument is not logical or this statement does not make any sense. Have you ever wondered? What exactly does that mean? All these questions fall under the umbrella of logic and reasoning. With the help of examples from your daily life, we will introduce you to this very beautiful realm of logic. Logic gives meaning to everything we see and observe. This is done by making observable models and defining the meaning of every word or every term that we say in that model. These models, they may be mathematical, which are purely hypothetical, or they may be physical ones. One task of a logician is to consider certain statements and then construct models where these statements make sense or more precisely where these statements are true moreover logic is fully context specific which means that what is true in one model or what we have defined in one model it may or may not make any sense in another model often we create models and then we restrict our attention to some part of it. In a sense, we are making a submodel inside the original one and studying this submodel. Logic is very broad discipline with many tastes and flavors such as philosophy, rational decision making, machine logic and so on. What we will study in this course is called mathematical logic. That is, we will be studying logic in the context of mathematical models. The purpose of this video is to shortly introduce you to what logic is and what does a logician do. Let's pause here for a while and consider an example of what do I mean by a model. The example model is a family. And in the family, there is a father, a mother, and there are two boys and two girls. I have denoted this by the set notation. Now, when I will be talking about this model, you can think intuitively about a family who has this model as a set of people living in their home. The example statements that are true in this model are, there is a father, Every boy in the family has at least one brother and one sister. Every girl has more than one brother. Whereas, the following statements are not correct. Everyone in the family has a brother. Nor is that father and the mother, they belong to this model and does not have any brother. Also, every boy has two brothers. This statement is also false. Can you guess why this second statement is not true? Voila, if your answer is correct, we are already starting to become a logician. But if not, then you don't need to worry, because this was our first lesson. Okay, so these statements are true for any family that has this set as a model, or what we call a universe. But these may not all be true for every family. Now your first task is to consider your family and check all of these statements for their correctness. You don't need to worry if this introduction threatens you with big and difficult words. We have designed this course to be as self-contained as possible, which means we will define each concept and each word and term 
related to each single topic that we will use in our lectures. Moreover, there is no prerequisite for this course. This is already an introductory course in logic and it contains all the basic concepts related to the field. The course is designed so that there will be one video on this topic every week. In each new lesson, we will revise the previous lesson to fresh your mind. We will also include examples that are easy to understand and each lesson will contain exercises so that you can put your brain at work. After all, you want to be called a logician one day. You can write your solutions for these exercises in the comment section of each video. We will check the solutions and provide you with the feedback. We will also feature the correct solutions in the following video lesson. You can also reach us by email for further help and questions. We will be more than happy to help you. So, get yourself ready and stay tuned for our first lesson in logic.